Hey, hey, Sagittarius, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your January 2024 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, welcome. What I'm getting for you right away here, Sagittarius, is a lot of you have been working on your communication. I'm also getting connection with spirit because in the recent past, you do have the eight of wands. So it's almost like you're getting yourself out of feeling stuck, feeling stuck within your emotions, your mental mind, your health. And I feel like there's wiggle room. It's like you're wiggling out a loose tooth, right? Uh, it feels like you're finally able to detach or pull something loose in order to move forward because you have the Eight of Wands, Sag, in your past energy. So this could be 2023. It may have felt like there was a lot of inconsistent communication or there was a lot of stop and go, stop and go. I'm also getting with this Eight of Wands, there was a lot of delays in the past when it came to fully being able to express who you were and to feel seen, to feel heard, to feel respected, to feel like you were part of a group or part of a relationship or part of an environment is what I'm getting here. Now you've learned some very valuable lessons amongst the stop and go energy or just feeling stuck or not being able to feel like you're on the same page with other people. You've learned vulnerability, okay? You've also learned that your fears and your anxieties, they don't help. If anything, they tend to prolong, they tend to delay what it is that you truly want. Because I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons around the nine. I mean, you have the eight and the nine, so there's growth, there is ascension here. And this is showing up in the past position and this is the lesson around it. And when you have the nine of swords as a lesson, it is about you taking a look at some of those obsessive thoughts or behaviors around something non I'm getting non-action or something that may have been quite impulsive. Uh, either or, I feel like you've gone through a lot of both, impulsive actions and then non-action, right? It's that stop and go energy. And there is something around being seen, okay? You can see on the Nine of Swords that she has all the eyes on her naked body there. And this is about vulnerability. It is about you being able to express yourself without feeling criticized, without feeling judged, and without feeling like you have to be someone that you're not. So very valuable life lessons about self, around development, around spiritual growth in the past. Now moving into 2024, you have here what aspirations, what inspires you is to get out of conflict, right? Five of swords energy can be win at all costs. It can be, you know, just argumentative conflict. It can be fighting. It's, it's that communication that we see in the past that's very stuck, right? So I feel like this is an opportunity for you to move past that and Cut your losses in a sense. If something didn't turn out, right? If there was a rejection or if there was some sort of gossip or there was news or if someone hurt you with words, I feel like you're moving beyond that. And that is actually inspiring you to come back to a sense of self. It's inspiring you to be a better version of you because you may have even been stuck, Sagittarius, in a situation or in a relationship where someone or something brought out the worst in you. But it was for you to see pieces of yourself that may have been hidden, may have been suppressed, may have been wounded. It's almost like the wounded... A uh, wounded healer came out, and I know we had a lot of planetary placements with Chiron, which is the planet of the you know wounded healer. So I feel a lot of you, you've been healing aspects of even your heart because you can see that the shadow aspect, whether it's her masculine energy, maybe it was a masculine uh, or feminine, it doesn't matter. It could be the energies within yourself as we carry both, or it could be a partnership. But I do feel like something's felt like your heart was ripped out, right? Ripped out and stomped on here, sad. But the good news is 
you're moving towards your six of swords. You're getting out of dodge here and you actually have the six of pentacles showing up here. You have the six of cups. I'm just seeing if you have the six of swords, but you actually move into the seven of wands. So there could be some also some lessons around defensiveness and uh, boundaries. That's a big one. Uh, boundaries is very important. And this is also boundaries within your own mind, right? Sometimes we let thoughts creep into our, our brain rent free, right? They're like squatters, as I like to say. They don't even need to be there and they're just filling up that space and, and that void where we could be focusing on other, you know, more abundant opportunities or focusing on raising our vibrations in higher ways or different ways. So what inspires you is moving out of conflict and what empowers you to reach this energy of moving away from some salty energy, some difficult difficulty, betrayal, I'm also getting here. This could be self-betrayal, uh, but I feel like it has to do with you letting your guard down, being vulnerable with someone, and maybe they ripped your heart out here in some way, shape, or form. But what inspires you is the Wheel of Fortune, knowing that maybe this was a destined event, a destined relationship. It may have been part of a karmic experience as well. But what empowers you to reach this aspiration is not repeating a cycle. So what we also want to realize is sometimes in order to not repeat a cycle, we put up some major walls, right? We put up boundaries and sometimes armor. But the thing about having such armor is it's hard to move. It's hard to let people in and receive, you know, equal reciprocity but I feel like that's something you're working through here because that's showing up in your challenge, the six of pentacles, which is reciprocity. So wheel of fortune showing up is helping you at this time. I am getting that the wheel is spinning here to allow you to have a turning point, Sagittarius. So whatever argumentative, hurtful, malicious words or betrayal or just someone's inner child as well, someone could have been very impulsive with their words, uh, it's like throwing a, a tantrum, you know, a 45 year old throwing a, a, a four year old tantrum because of their wounded, wounded self, wounded inner child is what I feel like you were dealing with. Or maybe it was how you responded to a situation, but you also realize that you have free will to, you've learned a lesson here or at least we hope that you did, learned a lesson, which I feel like you did, to spin that wheel moving forward, right? Destiny is coming in, fate coming in, saying you've learned what you've needed to learn, now you have the opportunity to bring balance. So what's challenging you? Or what could be crossing your energy when it comes to getting rid of this argumentative person or this pattern within you or a cycle that keeps playing out is it's one-sided. Right? Something is one-sided here. When you have the Six of Pentacles, this is the card of resisting help or someone taking, taking, taking and not giving. And I feel like if it's one-sided, you may need to cut your losses and walk away or it's just not going to help trying to change or shift someone's viewpoint in order to see it from a higher perspective because this person is very stuck in their ways. This person is very set on it's my way or the highway and when someone is so stubborn and so bullheaded that no matter what you say what you offer what you give there's never going to be a win for either of you right and that's what could be challenging you and I feel like that's what you want to walk away from Okay, and you can love from a distance because I'm getting here, this could be a family member or it could be someone that you live with. It could be your own child. It could be a spouse, right? But it's knowing when to fight for something, when you need to put your foot down and when to kind of let something slide in a way. Uh, not in a way where you're being a doormat and someone's walking all over you. You want to get out of that energy, but in a way where you know how a certain person is, you know how they react, and you know that no matter what, you're not going to get through to them. So you may feel, why am I even trying, right? So Six of Pentacles, that can be a struggle here. When it comes to relationships and emotions, I mean, judgment call, wow. The judgment card is saying that there's been a past 
We all have a past, but this past has been very difficult. This could be, I'm getting a karmic relationship. Some of you may have been in or some sort of experience that was part of your learning growth, part of your evolution. When you have the judgment card coming in, it says someone, either you or someone around you may be avoiding the need to change, to grow, to heal, or to ascend their energy, right? It is unhealed wounds. It can be ignoring the call to do something differently when it comes to matters of the heart or in a relationship, right? This can also be judging ourselves or judging others. You may be judging someone because of their past, right? And maybe this person hasn't changed and maybe you've been giving them a second chance and a second chance and a second chance, but they've let you down. And now you're deciding, okay, have I had enough? Do I want to keep doing what I'm doing, expecting something to change, right? We all know the definition of insanity, right? And this is about you making a judgment call when it comes to matters of the heart and saying, do I want to keep doing this and keep reliving out these wounds or is it time for a major awakening in this relationship, in this union? Whether this is family, whether it's friendships, whether it's romance, it doesn't matter. But there's something that is shifting here in a big way. Because this is a big wake-up call when it comes to matters of the heart. All right, Sag, when it comes to career, work, and finances, someone's breaking free. This is Seven of Wands, and this is the card of boundaries as well. So some of you, this could be, oh, some of you, there was a work situation, maybe a work love. Maybe some of you, you were in love with your boss, or there could have been some sort of boundary. Please take that as it resonates. I just heard uh, work-related in matters of the heart, okay? Uh, also... A seven of wands here is breaking out of some sort of restriction. This is non-conforming. Some of you may be going off on your own when it comes to business, when it comes to finances. Some of you may have been stuck in a codependent dynamic where you're breaking out of that in some way, shape, or form. When the seven of wands comes in, you're really taking a deep dive into your your passions, your spirituality, your creativity, and I feel like you're doing something with that. Okay, the Seven of Wands is protecting what you believe in. It's being brave. It's standing up for yourself, standing up for, you know, your finances, your money. I'm getting respect as well. And so it's it's almost this energy of, I deserve to be heard. I deserve to be seen. And I'm not going to settle for less than I deserve. And you've been thinking about this for quite some time. So some of you, you are artists with the Seven of Wands. Some of you are looking to do something from a new angle, okay? If you felt like the pressure was on, right? The pressure's on, I feel on guard, I even feel a little bit defenseless or defensive, right? I feel like you're coming at it from a new angle and it's gonna help you through creative endeavors. It's gonna help you put a little bit of twist on how you uh, spend money, how you save money. And I also get that some of you, you're reining in some beliefs around finances, around money. Some of you, because he has the big old words of love spelt across his chest, that may have been part of the finance financial sector, right? Maybe some of you are going through a divorce or you've gone through a situation where codependency was a piece of it. Or if you're single, I feel like you're breaking out of an old way of doing things and you're non-conforming by saying, I'm gonna do something different. I'm a trailblazer. I'm gonna go this path less taken, uh, or I'm going to do something that no one's ever done before, but you're really thinking about things on a spiritual level as well. It's card seven. All right. What do we have when it comes to health and well-being? Some of you, your past or your childhood may still be affecting you, and we talked about that as well. It could be a past karmic relationship, past life relationship here as well with the Six of Cups. Some of you are healing from maybe parental energy. Maybe some of you grew up in a home where there was a lot of conflict, a lot of arguing, a lot of that Five of Swords, right? No one likes the Five of Swords. It's icky. It's sticky. We want to just go hide underneath the cupboard, right? We don't want to hear our parents fighting. We want to just we want to be in safety. We want to be in that refugee of comfort and, and stability and home and hearth, not anger and, you know, slam doors and just mental anguish. And I feel like that's part of what you're healing here. 
So with the Six of Cups, and it doesn't mean that you had to come from that type of home, but I feel for whatever reason, there was a sense of not feeling safe, possibly at one point or another. Some of you have gone through traumatic experiences as a child. There could have even been uh, child lessons around children, your own children. I also feel here with the Six of Cups, some of you may have had a past condition show up for you when it comes to your health and well-being. Uh, this could be generational or it could be passed down. Uh, maybe someone had, you know, gestational diabetes or someone had, uh, you know, Alzheimer's or there's just something here that you may be concerned or worried about it being passed down. Uh, or it could, I'm also getting blood work being done. Uh, maybe there's a history of cancer or a history of obesity or, you know, whatever it may be. I feel like there is worry. And if there's any unnecessary worry when it comes to health, get it checked out. But for the majority of you, I get that there's something here when it comes to your health and well-being about having fun, playing, letting your hair down, uh, getting out there and dancing in the rain, smiling, giggling, laughing, just having that joy, that, that feeling of, you know, children playing without a worry or a care in the world. And I feel like it's been a long time for you here, Sagittarius, where you've just played. And I mean, played like you really meant it. Not the fake type of play that, you know, it's a it's almost a forced laugh at times, but this is really a belly laugh. This is memories that you can't stop smiling and your face hurts. So I feel when it comes to health and well-being, Spirit is saying laugh, play, have fun, and embrace and let out that inner child because that's really going to help you when it comes to health. I also get because green is highlighted here along with blue, this can be heart and throat as well. So some of you, maybe there was some issues around the throat, maybe uh, even bronchial. I'm getting uh, raspiness. This could be deeper, such as maybe forgiveness or bitterness, anxiety, resentment. Uh, living in the past can sometimes steal our joys from today. And I'm also getting uh, communication. Some of you, there could be cut off communication or argument of communication when it comes to someone younger uh, in your life or someone who is just immature, okay? So six of cups, please seek medical professional guidance if need be. So what's showing up in your spiritual energy and inner fulfillment, king of wands, beautiful. So on your spiritual journey here, Sagittarius, you are showing up for yourself, king of wands, uh, Sagio, uh, Sagio, uh, Sagittarius, Leo, and... Aries energy here. So there could even be something that comes around Aries season for you. So March, uh, I feel like you are either becoming more financially liberated or I, I see something with money for you as well. But when it comes to your spiritual energy, you're starting to build a sense of confidence and stability. You can see that this King of Wands, even though she's the feminine version here, she's all in red. And red is that Root chakra, red stability. So some of you may have even been recovering from a root chakra uh, surgery. <clears throat> Excuse me. So lower back, hips, knees, ankles, legs, feet, toes, something of that nature. Where I feel like you're getting back on track. You're getting back on your feet is kind of what I get. Back on your feet. So some of you were bedridden or maybe you, you weren't quite sure which move to make next. Hence the feet showing up here. There is something with feet coming in. But the king of wands in your spiritual energy, I'm getting groundedness. Uh, you're very grounded, but you also have this renewed sense of fire, renewed sense of passion in your, in your spiritual energy, right? This is really great because a lot of times that inner fulfillment, it is all about the passion. And this is a, uh, fire, Wands are fire. You are fire. This is spiritual forces behind your career, behind your relationships, behind your health. And some of you may even be looking at health from, you know, a metaphysical standpoint or point of view and taking a look at it holistically and saying, okay, what's going on here? My lower back's hurting. I know I've been struggling with finances. Uh, what do I need to do to take a look deeper into my belief systems or take an, on a new creative approach to bring in a new income source? 
what's going on with the heart. If some of you are feeling like an elephant is standing on your chest, you may be looking into things deeper or asking for additional help or guidance. But overall energy when it comes to spiritual, I feel really good about the King of Wands. You're starting to get your mojo back. Beautiful. All right, what do you need to focus on at this time? It could be your studies for some of you, focusing on staying curious about your life, staying curious about your projects, your ideas, staying curious about the thoughts that come in, right? Because you could be having some brilliant ideas at this time. So focus on, again, education or research, researching, maybe a vacation home. It could be a trip. It could be a new jobs. I feel like you're busy doing the research. You're busy doing the work, but you're curious about it. You're staying open. Now we don't see the, oh yeah, we do. Okay. I was going to say, we don't see the night energy. So the action, but you wait till the outcome. It's even better. So page of swords says by you doing your research now, Sagittarius, you may even be planning or booking something very important for later on uh, in the year or a few months from now where you're booking the, the trip now, or you are, you you know, putting your house on the market now, or maybe you signed up for that class now. I feel like there is a wish actually manifesting because you're you're staying open and you've graduated in a sense, or you will graduate because you can see that he's wearing a cap and gown. He has acquired some sort of knowledge and it's actually going to help fulfill a dream or a wish that he has with that wish flower. Beautiful energy here, Sag. So most important lesson for you at this time is to plan but make a decision okay make a decision is the most important thing that you can do at this time because the sky's the limit you hold the world in your hands here Sagittarius they're giving me that song I got the whole world uh, in our hands right and you do you literally do so shoot for the stars there's big dreams that you have and you see that the stars are all around but there could be a little bit of uncertainty because you're not quite sure with the moon there. You're not quite sure if you have what it takes or if you can really move forward. And the answer is absolutely yes, you can. Because wait till you see your outcome here. Now, the two of wands can be about business. It can be about career. It's about your vision. It is about expansion, right? And you have the world. So some of you could be thinking about uh, international or global communications or travel, maybe visiting new lands. There could be something with visas or family in different places. Maybe you're thinking about your, you know, retirement even. Maybe a five-year, 10-year, 15 plan. I, I feel like you're making some moves this month that are directly going to affect some dreams and wishes that you have. But Spirit is saying act immediately or act now. Uh, make a decision now. If you've been putting off a major decision or something quite significant or important because maybe you're waiting for the right time because right now there's a lot happening in the world, right? She's looking at the world thinking, do I really want to make this move now? There's so much happening and there's so much uncertainty. The outcome energy that you have here, Sagittarius, is the chariot. The chariot is quick, right? So I feel like this is you triumphantly moving forward. And I love this chariot as well because it actually is a snail, right? You see the snail, but it has wheels. So something that may have been slow, uh, slow progressing, or it may have taken you a long time to finally choose a direction here. Spirit is saying the outcome of this is if you make a decision now, you're going to go far. So you sign up for that class today, you're going to graduate and you're going to be making more money and it's going to pay off right here, right now. But if you wait five years to take that class, right, you may be waiting another five years and you may just not do it. If you wait later to sell the home or to do some sort of move, make some sort of move, you could possibly miss out on abundance in some way, shape or form. Okay, so I do feel like your best move at this time is to, to make a move, to make that decision, to 
pull you forward and you're not alone. You have the wheel here helping you out. So even if you feel like you're moving slower or you're not quite sure if you can be up to pace or up to par, you have that wheel. It's like the wheel of fortune and you actually have the wheel of fortune showing up as your uh, empowerment energy right? This is what is empowering you is that wheel. So let that wheel come in because I feel like this is fortune. This is uh, possibly if this has to do with a job or a move for a job, or if you're worried about money or anything of that nature here, Sagittarius, the chariot says you're going to be successful, not only successful, but there's going to be a victory, a big one. Because snails, you know, they, they take time. And you can see in the background that there is a castle. And it's like the snails looking at that castle and saying, okay, I, I would have normally had a long way to go to get there. But now I have the wheel, which you have. And now I'm able to move a little bit quicker and get this done and be successful and get there on time. So I love that the chariot is your outcome energy, Sagittarius. You're going through a lot of changes here, but you have what it takes to reinvent yourself, right? You have the judgment card coming in. And this is, you know, that major awakening where spirit comes in and says, okay, you've learned some very valuable lessons in the past. You've learned what you've needed to learn. And now we're going to move forward based on on some of the situations that you've gone through in the past because we also know that you don't want to repeat the same lessons that's why you have the wheel so there could have been lessons in fortune lessons in finances arguments of people maybe bullheadedness vulnerability here uh, patience okay past energies past people past memories childhood wounds and not holding oneself back any longer that is what i have for you sag i hope it's helpful if so please feel free to hit that thumbs up button it certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most feel free to share like subscribe and hit that bell and if you haven't already checked out your 2024 yearly reading that goes month by month you may want to check that out i will link it at the end of the video here for your convenience. Thank you so much, Sag, for tuning in. Lots of love.